What's going on guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and here I have my longboard. It has shown up in many previous videos and one problem or one fear that I have is when I go down a hill that I can't really stop. Well, I can but if that involves me falling off or wiping out or something. So what I want to do is I want to design a brake that clamps on right here to kind of stop the wheel so or at least slow it down as I'm going downhill so that way I can go down hills very fast and not have to worry about um, crashing or something alright don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below uh, for more videos it really helps and without further ado let's get into it since it's a bit hard for me to visualize how I'm gonna do this first I started by 3d modeling some simple clamps that I'm gonna place on the axle of the skateboard just to see where they are um, in reference to the wheel and then go from there. This will take about 18 minutes to print. Here's the mount uh, fully clamped down. Um, it's pretty firm on there. Um, there doesn't appear to be any visible cracks or anything though I might make it just a tad bit thicker just to avoid that from happening. Um, but other than that it looks pretty well so what I might do now that I can visualize it in real life and touch it and look at it is I might have a cylinder on top of here with a piston that goes straight out and what's gonna happen is my fingers the piston is gonna go through and it's just gonna stop the wheel and this piston is gonna be held back like this uh, with a spring probably a hair tie so I might put another clamp here that has a hook and then put a hook at the end of the piston and then put a hair tie there to kind of keep it back and the piston is going to have like a little head to prevent it from going out and then that is going to be there's going to be like kind of a string going out so if you're having a hard time visualizing what I'm talking about you'll see in a minute Alright guys, so after a painstaking amount of adjusting and putting on, I finally sort of managed to get the brake working. So, this is the wheel, spinning fast, brakes applied, boom, done. So all I have to do is put a rope here and kind of maybe loop it here so that way I can pull on it and see if it'll fully work, alright? Alright guys, so I got the rope attached, so here's how it works. Just press it down and it should pull. Let me just do this. So we'll spin in, brake. There we go. Uh, darn it doesn't want to go back sometimes. Uh, we'll fix that. It's a bit buggy but it works. <laughs> Here's a view of it from here and boom, spinning and then just the brakes applied by pulling the cable. Alright guys, so here I am. Um, so I'm just going to try and go down a hill and see how effective the brake is. So here I am going. Brake's not applied right now. Just got my hand wrapped around it. And I'm going to see how it works. Let's see, let's apply the brake in three, two, one. It's not working that well. Well, it kind of worked, I guess you could say. Let's check the damage. <laughs> Whoa, that's bad. Okay, so let's see what happened here. Ooh, that doesn't look too hot. Okay, so apparently, if we look on the other side. So that's the brake right there. Um, it appears to have broken. I'm not exactly sure what's going on over here. Okay, so now that I'm kind of more inspecting what's happened, 
this part fused together with this part and this is loose so yeah that's not good at all it did work though let's see if it still works i kind of want to see this work again okay this is trial two i'm gonna try going down the hill i'm gonna get a push start real quick let me just wrap it around my hand real quick So it kind of worked. And look at that. It still technically rolls pretty well. So I mean, it's going all right. Let's try one more time. Boom. And then brake. Slow down. Let go. Slow down. Let go. Oh, that's awesome. No brake applied. Brake applied. That's awesome. Now I can safely ride down a hill. Sort of, not really. And then when I flipped it around, I realized that I actually messed up the uh, the cable itself because it got tangled up in here. Um, yeah, when I was pulling it, applying the brake, uh, and then yeah, now if I try and pull it again, it's just gonna pull out the outer skin of the paracord, not the inner thread. But I mean, overall, it did technically do the job. I might try and see if I can improve this design because, you know, not all designs are perfect, but this technically did the job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially the ones I've made on 3D printing sorts of all sorts of mechanisms. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more videos, and I appreciate you guys for all your support, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.